Hi everybody, it's Teacher John, and today we're going to be making really cute animal bookmarks that you can use to put in your book so that you remember what page you were on, like this, okay? So what you will need today is just a piece of paper, something to cut with, and some colored pencils or crayons or markers to color. So please go get a paper, scissors, and something to color with, and then hit play when you are ready to go. So I'm going to, to show you how to make the pig um, bookmark. So if you have a pink piece of paper, you can use that, or any other color will work. And if you have a white paper, you can just uh, color it later. So if your paper is a rectangle, the first thing you need to do is fold like this so we can get a square piece of paper, okay? So fold your paper like that. And then all you will do is cut right here. So we have a square piece of paper. If you already have a square piece of paper, then you don't need to cut it. So open up your paper like this, and now you have a square, okay? So the first step is to fold it like this, okay? Fold your paper into a triangle and have the point facing down. Next, you will take this top part and fold it like this. Sorry, this bottom point and fold it to the top. Take the bottom point and fold, fold it to the top. So now your paper will look like this. Okay? Then, the next thing you will do is take the top right corner and you'll fold it all the way to the bottom of the paper like this. Okay? Take the top right corner, fold it all the way to the bottom like this. So now your paper should look like this. And the last step for this side is take this extra triangle right here and you will tuck it inside. This is a little bit tricky. And then fold it down, okay? So all we did was took this little piece here and fold it inside your paper. So now it should look like this. If you are confused, you can just rewind the video. But if you are ready to go, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So one more time, take this corner and fold it down to the bottom. Mine got a little bit messed up, so it's okay if it doesn't go exactly to the bottom. Try to get it as close as you can, like this. And fold, and then you will bring this part and tuck it under one more time, just like we did on the other side and then push down and fold. It is okay if this side is a little bit messy because we are going to turn it over anyway. This side is the back that you won't really see. It will be inside the book. So once you have your paper looking just like this, then turn it over and we're going to cut along here to make it round instead of pointy. So just take your scissors and kind of make it look like this. If you want to change it a little bit, that's totally fine. And now you are done with your scissors and you are ready to go. Good job. So now is the fun part. It is time to make your animal. If you have other paper like this, you can cut a nose and ears and glue them down, or you can just draw them. So whatever animal your ears, whatever animal you are making, you should use a piece of paper like this, an extra piece of paper to cut out some ears. So if you're making a pig, maybe your ears will look like this. I just realized that I said we are done with the scissors, but we're not quite done with the scissors. If you want to make your ears, just draw two ears, cut them out. And if it's a little bit messy on this side, you can just turn them over. There is one ear. Here is the other. And I totally forgot we are going to need some glue or tape, okay? So if you don't have your glue or tape right now, that is okay. Just pause the video and go get your glue or tape. 
I am at home right now and I don't have glue in my house, so I will just use a little bit of tape and you will take your ear like this. Maybe mine are a little bit small, but that's okay. Put some tape on the back of the ear and you can just tape your ear like this. There's one and here is number two. Awesome, and there are my pig ears. After that, you can do whatever you want. On this one, I cut out the nose and some more parts for the ear, but you can just color if you want. Um, I'm just going to put a mouth right here. I'm gonna make the nose of the pig right here. And two eyes, right here. All right, and now I have my pig. So you can do it like this and you can color it or you can use different colored paper like this. Uh, and now you will just take your bookmark, open up whatever book you are reading and you can put it in like this, put the pages on the inside. And now you have a bookmark so you know what page you are on and it's super cute and fun. You can make whatever animal you want, you can make a cat, you can make a dog, you can make a penguin, you can make a hippopotamus, you can make a dinosaur, whatever you want. And then after you are done, just start reading a book and put your bookmark in wherever you stop. I hope you like today's craft. Please give me a high five. Good job. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.